What's up? This is Brandon Costelli from Mountain Bike Action. Today we're on the trails with DaVinci's newest iteration of the Django 29. This bike joined DaVinci's fleet back in 2016 when it was just a short travel, big attitude trail bike with 27.5 inch wheels. The Django later received a pair of 29er wheels and minor updates. Now, the all new Django is a force to be reckoned with. Rolling on 29 inch tires and sporting 120 millimeters of split pivot suspension, the Django retains the poppy and playful feel it was intended to have. Meanwhile, a 140 millimeter travel Fox 34 fork was placed up front to tame rowdier sections of trail. Django 29 grew in reach by 10 millimeters per frame size, received a slacker head tube angle and a steepened seat tube angle. The rear end was given super boost 157 hub spacing, increasing stiffness and offering clearance for 29 inch tires up to 2.6 inches wide. Da Vinci redesigned and moved the flip chips on the new Django to the bottom of the shock resulting in less movement moving parts and the ability to more easily make geometry adjustments on the trail. Additional attention to detail includes cable clips to prevent rubbing, double row linkage bearings for durability, and varying dropper posts per frame size. Da Vinci even went the extra mile to add chainstay length to large and extra large frames to ensure a balanced feel for taller riders. Alright, so on paper the new Django has quite a few updates, but how does that translate to its performance out on the trails? Da Vinci positions the Django in their lineup as a bike built to do it all. From trail laps to days in the bike park, the Da Vinci is up for the task. The short travel rear end adds pop and playfulness while the 140mm travel fork soaks up the trail's inconsistencies with ease. The key highlight of the Django is its stiff frame design which allows riders to point and shoot at their intended target with precision and control. Although the Django's short travel rear end often utilizes full travel, it doesn't slow riders down. The ability to smash this bike over tough obstacles is what makes the Django oh so fun. When it came time to climb, we found the Django pedal more like a trail bike than an XC rig in the same travel category. This is not to say the Django is sluggish by any means, but it's not to be confused with a cross-country race rocket. That said, the Django split pivot suspension system offers solid mid-stroke support that translates to an efficient pedaling platform. The type of rider that will get along best with the Django is one that rides all types of terrain. Da Vinci built this bike tough enough to handle the roughest trails while still appealing to the average trail rider. More advanced riders may want to equip this bike with a bigger shock and a Fox 36 fork, while mid to entry level riders will find the Django's current trim is well suited for long days on the trail. We're excited to spend more time with the all new Django to see how it performs during our long term magazine test. Make sure to grab your copy of the December issue to read all about Da Vinci's Bulldog Trail Bike. Want to stay up to date with the MBA crew? Follow us at mbaction.com or on any of your favorite social media outlets. Don't want to miss out on any of the action, do ya? Well, check out these videos and make sure to hit subscribe.